Hello everyone and welcome you today on live rematch battle between probably one of the best financial modelers in the world, Joseph Law and Dimut Early. My name is Max Sitch and I'm Chief Operation Officer at Financial Modeling World Cup. But before we start, let me make a short introduction about the battle. So last year we have launched Financial Modeling World Cup and has hold, have held four stages. And the battle between Joseph and Dermot has started already last year. During the first stage, Dermot was able to take the lead and has scored the best score so that taking the first position. Next round, Joseph was overtaking the lead. After stage three, there was a hockey stick spike for Dermot early because he was able to earn 240 more time bonus points and became the first. Finally, at stage four, Joseph Law went all in and was able to answer all the questions correctly without any mistake in just one hour and 38 minutes, earning a lot of bonus points. Lately, when we were talking to Dermuid, even before we announced the final winner, he mentioned that his Excel has crashed and he wasn't able to catch up afterwards. The rules, good or bad, the rules are for everyone the same, but it's Still, a kind of a feeling of uncertainty. Would Dermot would be able to make it to the top if his Excel wouldn't have crashed? That is why we decided to organize Financial Modeling World Cup rematch battle between Dermot Early or and Joseph Law. Okay, no more comments, and let's announce our participants. So the first participant has more than 13 years of financial modeling experience. He has started his career in Boston Consulting Group. Then he continued in Deutsche Bank and finally he has founded his own financial analysis and financial modeling firm, Early Days Consulting. He's the financial modeling world champion of 2014. He's the runner up or second place holder of 2020. He's also case creator for Stage 1 2020, and he's a CFA chart holder. Meet him, Dim Early from the United States of America. Hi, Dim. How are you doing? Next, probably one of the most experienced Financial Modeling World Cup participants with more than 20 years of financial modeling experience who is the bronze medalist in Mathematics Olympiad, who is the co-founder and director of Excel editing company called Spreadsheet Advantage, who is director of sustainable finance at Commonwealth Bank of Australia, who is the world modeling champion of 2015, 2016, and 2020, who is the case creator, Joseph Law from Commonwealth of Australia. Hi, Joseph. And finally, the event will be hosted by Financial Model, a corporate trainer, author of several books in financial modeling, principal of Plum Solutions, financial modeling and data analysis firm, ACCA chart holder, MBA graduate, chartered financial model provided by Financial Modeling Institute, Excel most valuable person recognized by Microsoft, and the woman in financial modeling, Danielle Steinferhurst. Hi, Daniel. And finally, Daniel is going to share the stage with the exam creator and creator for Financial Modeling Institute, who is also the Financial Modeling World Cup chairman, Andrew Grigelnovich. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Hello, everyone. Great to welcome everyone here at FMWC for the rematch battle. It's gonna be a great event today. Andrew, Daniel, I'm happy to share the stage with you, but just before I'm giving the floor to you, Andrew, please introduce us. What is the case is going to be about? Yeah, so the case uh, is uh, this time, uh, it's called Knowledge is Power. Uh, because we have two very knowledgeable and very powerful, in terms of knowledge, gentlemen competing today. 
Uh, my key uh, goal while creating the case was actually to make it uh, in such a way that it's challenging enough, but at the same time that uh, none of the participants get some unfair advantage by uh, getting like more used to some type of problems uh, as they do solve in real life. So therefore, this case will be uh, devoted to revenue modeling. Uh, so it's going to be all about uh, revenue modeling. And uh, the key items that uh, the participants will have to do, uh, I'm going to give, give some, uh, some examples here. So basically, uh, the company, we're going to be doing uh, revenue forecasting. Uh, it's going to be about a company named uh, Oxbridge, an online school, um, which is, has a pure subscription business model. They have five pricing plans. Uh, they are called dot, line, triangle, square, and star. And uh, they, the management of the company decided that they have only monthly plans, that they don't have annual plans, which has the only reason uh, for being uh, the case being suitable for FNWC battle for the third events. So uh, this company, uh, ironically, operates in Australia and in the United States. Uh, well, after the case was ready, I kind of thought that uh, it should be, uh, I, I should have headquartered this uh, company somewhere, probably in the UK or in uh, some, in, in the Eurozone, but uh, right now the current case states that uh, this, they are headquartered in the US, they are reporting and planning in US dollars, but they are pricing their plans in Australia, in Australian dollars. So this adds some complexity towards the case so that the guys will also have to, mo uh, to model the foreign exchange rates. So uh, the guys today will, will have uh, a total of 30 minutes to solve, uh, to, to, to create the model, the revenue model. Uh, that would take them uh, 14 uh, questions to solve. There will be 1000 points uh, in total. And the, uh, well, if any of them manages to solve it faster, then it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be 10 minutes, uh, a 10 point bonus, time bonus for each full minute save. And of course, we have the uh, rule that you should score 900 points to, to get the time bonus. Uh, and by the way, our viewers, everyone is uh, invited to download the case right now, free of charge on our website, fmworldcup.com so that you can follow or maybe even solve the case uh, yourself uh, within 30 minutes to see how many points that, uh, you, you get. Maybe you can even outpace uh, Dean or uh, John. So, uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, of course, uh, the, the link will be on the YouTube chat as well. Uh, Let's uh, move on to the points breakdown. I think this is something that's uh, quite interesting to, to the uh, participants uh, today. So we will have uh, a total of 14 questions uh, of different complexity. And uh, well, most of them uh, are giving you like 50 to 100 points. Uh, you will probably uh, find it yourself which ones are more important, which less. There are some tactical tricks that are built in, so uh, maybe you get some uh, different approach there. Let's see. Uh, I will be talking about tactics a little bit later when the guys are running. Uh, so there will be some uh, tactical kind of overview for the uh, for the viewers, for the spectators. So uh, I think that uh, right now. Uh, this is uh, the right time for the guys to start reading. Uh, you might want to browse through and uh, if you have some uh, extra, extra questions or something, we will th still have uh, some time in a, in a minute or two to, to, to discuss. Um, well, and uh, meanwhile, uh, me meanwhile, we can, uh, we can get to the, uh, uh, to, to kind of uh, to introduce uh, so while the guys are reading uh, so you are uh, dear mate Joseph you are officially allowed to start reading the, the, the case if you, if you haven't started it yet so um, 
But meanwhile, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, our sponsors from uh, Microsoft uh, for, for the great uh, support and uh, for the great uh, advantage that uh, we have uh, for having them with us. And we really want to bring this uh, event uh, not just a, uh, let's say, user-friendly thing, but to make it also spectator-friendly. So this event, this battle is one of the uh, one of the steps towards making uh, these FMWC battles uh, something uh, regular, so to say. Uh, second thing, uh, Daniel, uh, would you like to tell more? Uh, we, we can hear. We, wow, I and have comments. There are some comments that actually use people can't hear you. Maybe you can uh, talk a bit. Okay, what's I think it, yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, our, our team is uh, looking for uh, double checking what's, uh, what's the reason for that. Uh, the guys are still reading the, the, the case and, oh, I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to do the heavy lifting today. Uh, so uh, anyway. Let's, uh, like, another thing I wanted to introduce, I actually wanted you to, to tell about it, is the, uh, uh, is the mock exam that we are organizing uh, this uh, Saturday for the AFM and for the CFM uh, candidates. Um, so, as you, as, as, as you might know, then, uh, in two weeks' time, uh, there will be an exam by the Financial Modeling Institute, so our good partners of FMWC. And uh, we'll have, uh, as uh, FMWC and Plum Solutions are uh, the appro approved training providers for training to be exams. So this Saturday, uh, we are organizing together, uh, we have partnered to bring together a um, mock exam for those who want to train for the AFM and the CFM, CFM levels. Uh, the, uh, the cases are created by our team uh, at FMWC and the uh, administration, the sales and uh, everything, the feedback uh, is uh, run by Daniel Steinferkhurst by Plus Solutions. So, um, <laughs> yeah, well, we have to do some body language uh, at least, and you're great at this. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, and I also wanted to, to, to ask Daniel to talk more about the woman in financial modeling. However, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, but, but again, Daniel is a great enthusiast by uh, putting together a, a group that's called Women in Financial Modeling. That's uh, a group that uh, is, uh, well, Women only, and we're putting they're, they're putting together uh, the community for uh, a lot of uh, ladies that are working in this uh, in this field and uh, who are sharing the thoughts, putting uh, together, preparing for FMWC uh, cases and stages. So, um, well, let's then. Uh, um, Let's then try to put Daniel back because, uh, you know, talking uh, by myself by, for 30 minutes, it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> and meanwhile, I wanted uh, the, uh, I wanted Dean and uh, Joseph to carefully uh, read through the uh, case description and maybe our viewers can uh, read it as well because uh, uh, there are some. Uh, Things in the subscription prices and inflation. Um, I just thought that you might have some uh, questions or uh, things to clarify. Uh, so as we do that, we just might want to uh, we just might want to uh, discuss briefly with you. So, okay, uh, the team is doing something on the on, on, on the back end. Uh, well, uh, so 
give us uh, just one extra minute and we'll have something uh, done with that. So, so uh, I'll need a little. Yeah, they're supposed to be reading now, and we have uh, we have our our colleagues. Yeah. So, uh, so can we hear Daniel now? It should be. The Any comments on that? Uh, Uh, sorry, could you please repeat, Joseph? I didn't quite uh, get the question. Uh, do you... Right. Oh, no, no, no. You just... No, you don't have to run it uh, by, by any means. So the inflation implied price, you have to calculate it based on inflation every month. And uh, that's, that, that's it. So don't run it. And the user... The actual price to the users, that's uh, only two that decimal places, and that increases in, uh, in, $5 decimal, in $5 increments. So, uh, I think let's start. Uh, it's uh, just probably the best way to do it. Uh, do we hear everybody else? Uh, So, uh, well, then uh, I think that's okay. Uh, let me officially ask Dim, are you ready? Are you comfortable with the case? Have you any questions? Do you have any questions? Okay, Joseph, uh, what about you? Are you ready to? You are. Okay, good. So, uh, let's check the follower timer, countdown timer is set up for 30 minutes. And okay, then if it's fine, then you can start modeling now. And the countdown timer has just begun. So let's uh, let's see. Uh, let, let's keep the screen for now. It's it's a little bit of uh, interesting uh, to view the faces, how the guys are uh, working currently. It's uh, interesting to see what's going on on their screen. So let's uh, let's switch on to the screen uh, of let's say Dermit and see how Dim uh, puts together his model. So as you see, as you see, he starts with putting together the dates, which is very reasonable. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> and he switches off the the sound so that we so that my comments don't uh, interfere with him. Um, it's uh, it's a nice approach that he has copied uh, he has copied the uh, plans. Uh, I think that he has kind of uh, I think it was a hard copy, not a link. Uh, oh no, he's linking actually. He's doing the, the right approach. He's doing the uh, um, the full analysis and he sets up uh, the model. As you see, it's uh, well first he starts with the U.S. Uh, plans, then he's going to continue. Well, probably with with Australian plans. Um, let's see what uh, how far along is. Uh, let's see how far along is um, uh, Joseph. So, so, well, well, I think, I think that's. that's uh, uh, he's sharing, sharing the right screen. Right uh, so that's, uh, that's, 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 that's that's an model. model. Uh, I think, I think that uh, he, he might be reading yet, yet, or he might, he might not be sharing, sharing, sharing the right, the right Excel. Excel. 
Um, let's, let's ask, ask our, our team to send, send a message, message to each other, other uh, so that we can switch, switch, switch to sharing the right, the right Excel. Excel. Uh, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, let's get back to, let's get back to, to Tim. Tim. Uh, to this screen. Uh, okay, so so let's see. He has some uh, inflation plank, and uh, as as you see, the uh, it, it, it's quite interesting that uh, we have given inflation numbers for the years. So the guys have to do like from year num annual numbers. They have to go to the uh, to the monthly inflation rates. And you see how fast uh, Dim uh, copies the cell. So basically, that's a, that's a universal formula. One uh, like control C, control V. Uh, that's compound inflation. I mean, you have to model like uh, the annual inflation is like, annual, but you have to get to the monthly. We assume that monthly inflation uh, rates are kind of equal. Uh, you will get it from the first and second questions, actually. And now, uh, by the way, Joseph, uh, we we don't see the right screen for for you. I think you're sharing uh, an empty cell, or you just haven't started yet. But if it's uh, double check that. Oh. Anyway, uh, we'll currently stick to. Um, to dim screen while Joseph is uh, putting together the, uh, the right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there is a good shortcutting technique by uh, by uh, dim. Yes. Now Joseph. Now the uh, screen is fine. Okay. So and actually you can, you can switch off uh, the sound so that we don't interfere interfere you. Good. Okay. Good. So. Uh, it seems that both we guys are, are more or, or less, less uh, more or less, less uh, doing, doing the same, the same progress. progress. Uh, uh, I would expect that we'll, we'll have, have some first, first uh, answers soon enough. Soon enough. But, but maybe, 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 maybe it's uh, something, something that that's, uh, we're gonna, that's, that's gonna happen. Uh, that's gonna happen. Not as not too fast. Because you see, there are approaches that one guy might be. Putting, putting answers, answers one by one, but, but another, another one could be doing them in bunches, like the bunch of them answers one. We're going to see the, 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 the live results. Right, right, results. Now, right now, the live results are, well, well it's, it's nil, nil. But you, but you see that, that everything is uh, flowing quite, uh, quite fast. Quite fast. What, I'm what I'm quite surprised about uh, uh, Dean's approach right now, now is that he hasn't, hasn't, hasn't hidden, hidden the uh, cells, cells to the right, right uh, uh, of, the, the, of his model, model which, which kind of, kind of means, means that he might be, might be losing some time by, uh, you know, you know moving. moving. Uh, uh, it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite a good approach, approach in, like, if you're modeling for speed to hide everything to the right from the last column. And then, and then you, you can just, just you know, shift, shift uh, control, control, press, press shift, shift control, control, right, right arrow, arrow, and copy the formulas, formulas until the end of, of uh, your planning period. Okay, okay let's, uh, let's, let's see, see what's, what's up with uh, Joseph's, Joseph's model. Because it's, it's been... Oh, it is, oh, it is Joseph's, Joseph's model. Sorry, I got it. It's, uh, let's get back to... It's actually... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the same screen, so it's actually... I'm surprised about Joseph's. Let's get back to Dim to see what's going on with... Uh, yeah, wow, well, it's it's quite some uh, quite some progress here. So he has uh, modeled uh, the prices. Uh, he has modeled the inflation implied prices, I believe, and now he's trying to model the uh, actual user uh, prices. Uh, I would say that he might have scored uh, he might have scored uh, quite some points by that time. And as you see, wow, we have the first score by Joseph. Uh, he has answered the first couple of questions. So right now it's 125 points to nil. Uh, could you, could, let's see the live results right now. So yeah, uh, as you see here on the uh, on this uh, screen, um, we have a summary for all the questions. And uh, let me also give some uh, brief comments about the about the tactics. Uh, don't sweep, uh, So here we have uh, you see we have four topics. Uh, well, actually five uh, subsets of points. So we have uh, quite some points for inflation. Well, by the way, uh, Joseph has just scored yet another fifty points. Uh, and we 
have uh, points for pricing, we have points for users, uh, and some questions on the, on the sales. You see the color codes, uh, the green ones are easy, and the uh, yellow is uh, more difficult, but the toughest part is actually pricing, and the, the nightmare level of complexity is uh, get, getting the time bonus here. Uh, wow, another 75 points. Yeah, 250 to nil, but dear mate is still hanging there. He's gonna get a bunch of points uh, right now. Let's see his, uh, his uh, screen. He's doing quite some good job. So as you see, he is already putting together the formulas. So he has uh, the inflation. I believe he has the inflation right. Uh, I believe he has the uh, inflation implied prices therefore correctly. And now he's trying to put together, basically that's the most important, that's the most com complex part of the, uh, of, the of, of, of the exercise, to put together the exact uh, prices for, uh, for the customers. Uh, in the materials, uh, there is a complex uh, logic explained. So basically, uh, the inflation is kind of accumulates, but they don't raise prices for their plants. Uh, for quite some time, like you don't like if your pricing plan costs, let's say uh, 1999, you will not be raising it uh, every month by 30 or 40 cents. What's going to happen most probably you're going to raise it to 24.99 after the inflation kind of uh, uh, com combines for for many months, uh, accrues over many months, so that you can do that. And here, uh, it's, uh, this is the most complicated part of this case, and you have to solve it through so that you uh, get the right answers. And this is the, the part where you can get uh, stuck for a while. Uh, <clears throat> let me give you some sort of a tactical, uh, tactical background. Uh, there are some tactical approaches uh, to, to this case. Uh, we have uh, created a summary of tactics uh, for uh, for the uh, ta for, for for this stage, so the ta so you see uh, like the participants uh, looked only at the uh, first two columns uh, for the points breakdown. But uh, when I was putting together with this case, uh, I was trying to make it uh, well at least somewhat uh, challenging from the from the tactical point of point of view. And yes, you see, we have four topics uh, plus the time bonus. Uh, first, you start with inflation, then you kind of can move on with pricing. But then there is a uh, standalone part, which is user modeling, the num modeling the number of users, which is, uh, well, it's 300 points. You don't need anything from the previous questions to get these answers, answers right. But I have kind of purposefully put it in the case description towards the end. So uh, the reason there is that uh, like if you're running out of time, if you're stuck, uh, then probably you might want to throw away the inflation and pricing modeling. You might want to get to user modeling, get the easy 300 points. And then uh, if you get to that point, so basically you can get a total of 550 easy points and then uh, you see there are two questions that are kind of possible to estimate. Uh, well, one of them is uh, on the user modeling. That's uh, easy enough as well. But question number 13, it gives extra 50 points and it's uh, quite, quite easy to, to guess. Meanwhile, let's get back to the scoring. Uh, it seems that Diermit starts scoring his first points. Uh, so he gets uh, the first question uh, up and up and running. Uh, so the first question is, uh, yeah, I would expect that he should be getting uh, he should be getting uh, the uh, uh, the time. Uh, yes, I was the I was the author of this case. Yes, you're right. I would expect that uh, Dim is gonna. Oh yeah, and he gets extra extra points. So he has just scored another three questions and it's a tie right now it's a tie it's uh, 250 to two oh wow. wow and he moves on uh, dim uh, he scored question number five which is uh, one of the toughest uh, well if you score q5 
it means that uh, you're on the right track to scoring Q6 and Q7 as well. Right now he is leading Joseph by, by a margin of 125 points and that seems to be something uh, uh, something great. Uh, well, that's, that's an advantage. Let's see, let us see how Joseph replies. Uh, let's switch on to see Joseph's screen uh, so that we can... Oh, meanwhile, let, let, let's get back. Wow, it's 620, wow, it's 775. Oh my God, that's a... Can we get back to results, please? Uh, it seems that Dim has... Wow. Let's see what's going on there. Now it's... Uh, oh. It seems that, uh, well, our scorekeepers have, uh, uh, have uh, done, have gone ahead. Wow, it actually is Joseph. It's Joseph who has uh, gone up to question number eight, and it's 625 to 425. It's a 200 points uh, margin lead. Let's see what Joseph is currently doing. Let's see his screen. Uh, so, uh, well, he is looking for some... Uh, it seems that he gets stuck with the... Uh, I don't think uh, there is any uh, reason for him to look for formula, uh, formula uh, relationships uh, unless he has run into, into some trouble, into some... It seems that he's struggling right now with uh, not getting the right answer uh, to, the, to the question. Uh, most probably what he is currently lacking is that he can't really get the right price for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, for the star plan at the end. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, that's one of, one of the tricks actually. Uh, the trick here is that if you can't like you have to raise the price not by one increment, but sometimes inflation might be accruing so fast that uh, you might be raising it by two or even three increments. The reason for that is uh, that, again, it's in, the, uh, it's in the case description that the participants cannot uh, move it to, uh, uh, like, uh, they don't raise price for, for a single plan. They have to wait for our plans to increase the prices as well. Meanwhile, oh my god, it's, is it really not? No, it's, it's 9.25. Uh, Let's see Dermot's case. Let's see Dermot's screen. Could it be that he's done? Is it really possible? Oh my god. Dim. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so... I will... There will be quite some bonus points. Uh, the time... Uh, the results for for the for the model will like the, right now it says that it's 925 yeah Dim. can you uh let's uh let's just double check uh, the results again uh is it really 925 or we haven't yet ah oh. so so the question there is uh you probably Okay, you went for the time bonus, right? Did you? Dear me? Okay, okay, all right. So, meanwhile, uh, we... Well, at one point of time, the, the clock on the, on the live track uh, has reset. Uh, we'll probably be giving you some live uh, updates on that. Uh, it's uh, so. How many minutes do we still have uh, for Johnson? Five, five to ten. Like uh, my colleague says, it's like five to ten minutes. Uh, well, anyway, uh, let's see what uh, Joseph is all about. So let's see him modeling. Uh, so. Yeah. So. Uh, at this point of time, Joseph is uh, modeling the, the churn rates and the number of users, which is doing, uh, is doing fast enough. And, uh, uh, I think there is an echo. Uh, it's uh, somewhere. 
Uh, it's not on my side. I think it's uh, it's on the Zoom call for someone. Okay, now it's fine. Thank you. I think Dim, Dim was not uh, not muted there. Uh, well, so right now Joseph is uh, is almost there. It's seven seventy five points for him. It's uh, so he's modeling the user count and he will have uh, the revenues being converted to the right uh, currencies as well. So right now it's 8.25, uh, so he will finish very soon. It's gonna be just a couple of questions for him. So uh, Joseph is, uh, oh no, he can't be struggling here. He might be reading the case, really. So, Let's see what he's doing. Uh, he's, uh, he's trying to get the total revenues uh, for, for the five years. And it might be the case that he, okay, he's just co co copying it there. And uh, let's see if he got stuck or not. So uh, can't really say it from what he's doing. He looks calm. Yeah, it's an interesting approach. Yeah, I would say that it's interesting that again that Joseph is uh, like he, he's written a formula and then kind of puts in the rows and uh, copies is uh, above, not below. <laughs> that's uh, I think that's a little bit of uh, time loss here. And you see his totals. He has the first uh, couple of columns for the totals, and right now he is uh, putting the total numbers. I think these are still in Australian dollars. Um, by the way, you just saw on his uh, assumptions page that he has numbered uh, he has numbered the uh, uh, months uh, from one to twelve. Uh, that was another tactical thing, well, a small one, but still, I have specifically named the uh, months with, with letters like Jan, Fat, Mar, not uh, formatting, so that it makes a little bit of extra complication for them. But of course, these guys know how to convert it to. Uh, to the month uh, numbers. So here it's a uh, it's an H lookup formula. Okay, that's uh, that's a nice approach as well. I was doing that too. Yeah. So this is how he gets the exchange rates. So basically, uh, Joseph is uh, up until the uh, the last uh, questions. So what he needs to do, he still needs to convert uh, revenues in Australian dollars to, to US dollars, and that is gonna be, he's gonna be fine. Uh, again, it's quite amazing to see that he hasn't hidden the, uh, the last columns, therefore he needs to kind of select the formula above and copy everything by the, by let's say row 108, uh, kind of over copying or double copying over the uh, uh, the FX rate that are already kind of already there. Um, now it seems that he's no 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 he's putting together the answers. I think that he is on the second screen. He's doing the answers, and uh, we see that the score has changed. It's eight seventy five. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be soon. Yeah, but by the way, by the way, let's see, let's see the split here. Uh, let me see, we have, uh, so here is the current uh, standings. Uh, we see that there is a mistake in question six, there is a mistake in question 12, uh, which will, pre and, wow, a mistake in Q14 as well. So he's losing by 50 points right now. Uh, will he be looking for, for these mistakes or is it, no, I mean, if he has submitted, then he probably goes for a time bonus and he might be off for today. So that's, uh, that would be unfortunate. Like, uh, I wouldn't expect you to be able to, but I think, yeah, it, it could be possible to, to have a mistake in Q6. It could be a mistake in Q12. And uh, let's just make an update on the time bonuses that the guys have, uh, have received. Oh no, no, he's, uh, he's putting together, he's looking at something. He's trying to uh, he's trying to look uh, to find the mistakes because currently something is uh, something is wrong with his formulas 
And we see here that in Q6, he's uh, not uh, working uh, correctly. He's looking for an error in Q6, which prevents him from uh, getting the right answer to Q12 and prevents him from, from the right answer to Q14. So if he gets it right, I believe that he has the chances to overtake Dearweight. If not, uh, he probably will lose because Dean has also got, got the time bonus points. Uh, do we have an update on how much time is left uh, to the competition? We don't. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll have to... Uh, uh, it will be ending soon enough. Uh, let's, let's ask our team just to double check it and that we, you know, cut uh, Jordan from the, uh, <laughs> from the competition at the time when he... Uh, when he gets uh, okay. uh, you know we have like the uh, clock has uh, reset uh, occasionally and we don't have the clock running here on, on the stream but uh, we need to double check on the uh, on the flexi quiz ourselves uh, but it will stop okay so we'll, we'll you have submitted okay so right now we'll see <laughs> okay. So let's uh, let's just uh, let's just double check. Uh, so, is it really that uh, it's only me that uh, people can hear, or what about the others? Uh, Joseph, can you say something? Dim, can you say something, please? Because okay. well, then I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to kind of re uh, to tell the story pro that both guys can <laughs> that, uh, yeah. I mean, what are the impressions, guys? Uh, Joseph, well, like. How did he do that? Like how it was? Uh. Yeah. So the uh, the key uh, uh, comment that Joseph has had is that uh, he liked the case, that the case was really suitable for this format of the 30-minute 30, 30 format, and it was all about the execution and uh, you know, making or not making the simple mistakes, which he has apparently made. But I would say that uh, probably Dearmate was also not perfect as well. Dearmate, uh, how did you like the case? You finished super early. Dim enjoyed it, yeah. So the Dim says that he moved uh, very smoothly through the model. So basically, uh, as he was building the model, all the questions were answered, like the answer options were matching uh, what he had in the model and that basically that, that was it. So, well, I really feel like, like you know, what sometimes when you have, uh, you know, sports, uh, uh, some sport broadcasts that you have some winners that are not English speaking, that you, they have kind of translated by, by, by the commentators live. I feel like the same uh, here, but I'm translating like English to English, <laughs> which is uh, a bit amazing. Well, anyway, Life. Yeah, that's uh, our well in this format. That that's the first uh, that's the first uh, attempt, and uh, I think uh, like guys, when you will see because you are lo looking at this in, in Zoom, when you'll see that in uh, in YouTube in, in the broadcast, you're gonna like that. So, and let's uh, and and by the way, uh, we have uh, a plan that we're gonna make uh, similar battles in the future. So it's gonna be something uh, coming up very soon. And we might have some, uh, well, if we think of ways how to do it technically, but we're looking at something where we have like eight or maybe 10 participants uh, working simultaneously. 
So it's going to be like a uh, very, very interesting uh, to, to look like. We were inspiring ourselves by biathlon, by cycling races, by you know looking at different sports to see what could be the most uh, interesting parts uh, or most interesting points from there to take over here. So let's move on to announce uh, the winners because our team has uh, updated uh, on the time bonus points and uh, let me give the word to ah, it was expected that Max will be announcing the winners but as uh, it seems that I'm the only person who is <laughs> allowed to speak here uh, let me announce the winner <laughs> so um, well how many well okay guys uh, at Okay, but uh, yeah, let's do that. So, okay, that was an interesting battle. FMWC is not only about competing, it is also about learning. And I think both participants have showed today exceptional financial modeling skills that we can take into consideration for future. However, the winner is only one. So, let's get to the results. So, DMWEED has scored. 925 point points, which is above 90% to get additional time bonus points. Meanwhile, Joseph has scored 950 points, which means that if we do not take into consideration time bonus points, dear, uh, Joseph will be taking the lead. But dear Moid has submitted the case earlier. Was that enough to get to the first place? The difference between the first and the second place is only 50 points. Tough battle, isn't it? Have, has Diemuit managed to take a rematch? Let's find out. So the winner of their live rematch battle is Diemuit Early. Congratulations, Diem. Diemuit has scored in total 1,080 points while Joseph Law has got 1,030 points. Very happy to see that Dimuit was able to take a rematch. However, please give a round of virtual applause and respect to Joseph Law. Dear participants, the cases and solutions will be available shortly after the competition, and you can find them on our homepage, fmworldcup.com. Thank you all guys for joining the live battle today. Follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook for latest updates because we are planning to, um, to launch similar battles in the future. The next stage will take place just next week on April 16th, so don't miss it. And see you in a week's time.